Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Pokemon Fire Red. So, the last part we got the Thunder Badge, I think, from Surge, and look at this guy! How did you know I was in this town? Has Professor Oak been spying on me? Um, okay, anyway, so he's got something for us. Actually, we go through Diglas Cave to get it, but first I'm gonna go out here. Oh, yeah, kid. Cheating was the first thing on my... Actually, I probably shouldn't say that since I kind of cheated in the last part, but whatever. Let's... Yeah, I don't even need to cheat to beat this stupid snake thing. Goodbye. Alright. That was an intense fight, but we came out on top, so... Wow, where have I heard that before? Hey, look at that. Alright, well, another kid. Lovely. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you can. Well, technically, I think I just became a trainer today because it hasn't become night yet. I haven't experienced my first night time in this game, so... I probably just became a trainer today, by all logic. Yes. Once again, the computer shows its immense intelligence with that. It's it's quite amazing, it really is. Oh no, a Zubat. Let's go... What am I thinking? Okay. Goodbye, Zubat. And there you have it. So... Maybe you just suck as a trainer, pal. Okay, whatever. Okay, we got some random kid just running back and forth through the gra grass. I know, I'll come back here, so... There you are. Oh, okay. Better watch out for this kid. Oh, boy. This should be quite difficult. Alright. Goodbye, Nidoran male. Okay. So happy just getting all sorts of experience. Ooh, a neat areno. Alright. Really just looks like a bigger version of Nidoran male, but... Okay. Goodbye. Ha ha ha. Alright, good. <laughs> I say goodbye and then he says bye to me. Um, yeah, sure, kid. Okay, buddy. Okay, so these guys were gamblers in the original game, but they changed it to gamer. Because, you know, heaven forbid you have a gambler in a kid's game, it's gonna give them ideas. Because as we all know, children can just go around casinos and gamble all they want. You have to take gamblers out of the games or kids are going to try to emulate them. Obviously. But, uh, whatever. Actually, it's kind of funny to the point where they took the slot machines out of Heart Gold and Soul Silver and changed it with some stupid like minesweeper type of game. Yeah, sure, pal. Oh, lovely. Oh boy. And yep. An engineer just hanging out here in the middle of a route doing who knows what. Oh lovely mech. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch to Zippo, because this will be mincemeat for him. Now, now that I think about it, I'm starting to get rather over-leveled compared to the Pokemon. I mean, back when I was in Cerulean, I was pretty darn under-leveled, but... Having nothing but three point pokes up to this point in the game has... Really kind of tipped the scales. So... I'm gonna need all the levels I can get throughout here, but hopefully this will take you out. Okay, 
Yeah, that'll be a little bit quicker than dig. I want to fit as many battles into this as possible. Hopefully, we could get through the whole route in this. Um, I'm not gonna have my f put too much stake in that. But if we can clear up this entire route in this one video, that'll be really nice. Okay. How do you? Um, well, I guess you could burn a piece of metal. I don't know how it would hurt the metal that much. What, what am I saying? Whatever. F forget it. How is a piece of metal even alive to begin with is the question I should be asking. Okay. Oh. Hello. Win, lose, or draw. Okay. Another gamer just, you know, sitting in his robe out in the middle of a freaking route doing who knows what with a little tadpole thing. Oh no. Oh no, look out for this. Jeez Louise. Happy, are you alright? Boy, that was close. Alright. Phew. We should probably... S actually... I don't know. Happy can handle this. It's a stupid horsey. It's a little seahorse thingy. You see how clever they were with the names? Horsey? Seahorse? <laughs> Man. They, they just really thought hard with these names. Alright. Let's keep on moving. Um, let's get this. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I'll definitely be using that very soon. Okay, let's uh, switch here. Because I think this guy's an engineer, so... Oh, this one's actually doing something. I don't know why you need to lay down cables halfway between one city and the ocean, but what, whatever, you know, I'm sure you're working very hard, which is why you just, you know, dipped out on your work to challenge me to a random battle. Alright, sure, buddy, sure. And... I've said this before, I'll say it again, it's not a video without Zippo trying to evolve. So, there we go. Alright. Yeah, okay, you're... Wh whatever. Wow, dude, I'm... I'm... That... Maybe you should find a new hobby. Because, clearly, if you've tried that hard, I mean, look at how old you are, and you've not won once. Probably you should have looked for something else to occupy your time by this point. Alright. So, yeah, he's got a Growlithe, and I think he also has a Vulpix. So, following the trend of gamers or gamblers, whatever you want to call it, as two different Pokemon of the same type. So... Oh, okay. Who's going in? Alright. Sparky, let's just uh, make this thing regret switching you into this battle. Yeah, goodbye, Vulpix. Now that I think about it, those Vulpix have weird eyes. I mean, they're like solid red. That's kind of creepy. Okay, what do you have to say? Oh yeah, it was all luck. I just won with luck. That's all there was to it. See you guys later.